Now here you can see how the power pre-stretch carriage works. We have the motor on the underneath and at the top of the motor it's attached to a gear system. Now this gear meshes with the next gear here which is attached to the first roller and then you have a smaller gear which is attached to the second one. So as the motor turns, it turns both these other gears which in turn turns both of the black rollers that are underneath in the carriage. Now it's similar to gearing on the bike. You know, on a bicycle you've got the front gear and you've got the rear gear and they're attached by a chain. Now normally they're two different sizes and depending on when you click through the gears it can make it easier and faster because it's making one turn faster than the other. And that's a similar concept here. You've got a small gear here and you've got a big gear here. So as the big one is turning, the smaller gear is turning faster. There's more revolutions, which means both of these rollers, when they're turning, they're turning at different speeds. So as the film passes through and around both rollers, once the film goes to one roller, once it hits the second roller, when the gear ratio, because the rollers are turning at different speeds, it's going to take the film from here, this amount, and instantaneously it's going to stretch it out to about, you know, a couple of feet, depending on the ratio of these two gears. So, just so you can see, as I feed the film here, you'll see the gears turning. Now the gears on this system are set to stretch this film 240%. So as the film passes over those two black rollers, it's stretching it 240% before it feeds it out onto the pallet.